Peppa's Christmas. It is Christmas Eve. Peppa and George are going to post their letters to Father Christmas. <laughs> Here are Peppa's friends. Race you to the post box. Yahoo! <laughs> the children are all posting letters to Father Christmas. What have you all asked Father for Christmas for? <laughs> a scooter. A toy spaceship. A little guitar. A toy mouse. A skipping rope. A trumpet. A bat and ball. George has asked for a toy train. <laughs> and I would love a yo-yo. <laughs> it is Mr Zebra the postman. My goodness. A lot of posts today. They're all our letters to Father Christmas. It's very important that Father Christmas gets them. He lives at the North Pole. Yes, I can see that. Well, if I'm off to the North Pole today, I can't stand around chattering. Bye. Bye. Peppa. George. <laughs> We're off to get the Christmas tree. Hooray. Is everybody ready? Yes, Daddy Pig. Then let's go. This is Miss Rabbit's tree shop. Hello, Miss Rabbit. Hello there. We'd like to buy a tree, please. What sort are you looking for? Please don't say an apple tree or a cherry tree. I don't have them. We want a Christmas tree. Phew. I've got hundreds of them. These are the littlest ones. We were looking for something bigger. This is our mid-range. Still not big enough. Are you sure, Daddy Pig? They look lovely to me. And this is our biggest tree. Perfect. Jolly good. I'll ask Mr Ball to carry it to your car. Mr Ball! Ooh. Hello, everyone. <coughs> Big tree, this one. Got a big car? Uh, yes. So, where's your car? This is it. Oh, our car is quite small, isn't it? Daddy's just going to have to choose a smaller tree. No need for that. I'll carry it home. It can't be that heavy. See, See you later. later. See you later. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Daddy's been gone for ages. I hope our tree is okay. Mm. What's that mm. noise? Uh, it's Daddy! Uh, with our tree! Uh, <laughs> Hooray! Uh, uh, Daddy, was the tree heavy? It was a bit heavy, yes. I hope the tree fits in our house. Don't worry. I'll make sure it fits. It is a lovely tree. Thank you for carrying it all the way home, Daddy Pig. You're most welcome. Let's get it decorated. Peppa puts the glitter on the tree. It's so glittery. George hangs the baubles. <laughs> <laughs> Mummy Pig fixes the fairy lights. And Daddy Pig puts a star on the very top of the tree. There. Ooh. Little star on the Christmas tree goes twinkle, 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 twinkle. <laughs> what a charming song. And all the little piggies on Christmas Eve go oink, 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 oink. <laughs> Lovely, Pepper. Now it's time to... Wait, there's more. Oink, <laughs> oink, oink, oink. <laughs> Sweet little star on the Christmas tree. <laughs> Maybe that's enough singing. Do you know what day tomorrow is? Christmas Day! <laughs> Here's a little snack for Father Christmas. Daddy, why does Father Christmas come down the chimney? Why doesn't he just use the front door? <laughs> Good question, Peppa. If you see him, you should ask. But Father Christmas won't come unless you're asleep in bed. Up you go. <laughs> I hope Mr Zebra gave our letters to Father Christmas. I'm sure he did. 
Danny wanted a spaceship, Susie a scooter, Pedro a guitar. <laughs> can you remember everything your friends asked for? Of course I can, Daddy. It's very important. <laughs> Good night, my little piggies. Sleep well. George, let's stay awake all night and see Father Christmas. George is asleep. Well, I'm going to stay wide awake all night. <sighs> Pepper is asleep. What was that? Flying past the window. Whoa. And what was that noise? George, there's a loud banging noise coming from the roof. It is Father Christmas. Ho, ho, ho. Father Christmas just has a few more presents to deliver. Pepper wants a yo-yo. George wants a train. <laughs> Why do they make these chimneys so small? Oh, no. Father Christmas has lost his list. Why are these chimneys always so sooty? Ah, I see someone's left me a mince pie and a drink. Delicious. Ho, ho, ho. George, it's Father Christmas. Ah, hello there. And who might you be? I'm Peppa. And who is this very smart young gentleman? It's only George. Pleased to meet you, George. <laughs> Are those presents for George and me? They might be. <laughs> Can we open them now? You have to wait till morning. Father Christmas, how do you know what presents to give everyone? I have a list, uh, which I seem to have lost. Oh. And I only had a few more to deliver to Susie Sheep, Danny Dog, Pedro That's Pony. That's easy. Susie wants a scooter, Danny a spaceship, Pedro a guitar, Emily a toy mouse, Zoe a bat and ball, Candy a skipping rope, and Rebecca a trumpet. Thank you, Pepper. You're most welcome. Right, let's get these last presents delivered, which means climbing back up this confounded chimney. Father Christmas? Why don't you use the front door? Galloping goblins! What a good idea! Bye-bye, Pepper and George! Bye-bye! Happy Christmas! Ho, ho, ho! <sighs> Wake up, Pepper and George! It's Christmas Day! Daddy! Mummy! We saw Father Christmas, and he left us these presents. George has a toy train. Choo-choo! And Peppa has... A yo-yo! <laughs> All of Peppa's friends are here. Happy Christmas, Peppa! Happy Christmas, everyone! <laughs> I got a scooter! I got a spaceship! A little guitar. A toy mouse. <coughs> a bat and ball. A skipping rope. A trumpet. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone got what they wanted. Father Christmas is very clever. Well, actually, it was me who told him what you all wanted. Don't be silly, Pepper. It's true. George and I saw Father Christmas. <coughs> Here are Granny and Grandpa Pig. Happy Christmas, everyone! Happy, Happy Christmas. Christmas! I say, look at those big boot prints. Ooh. And there's more of the same boot prints on our roof. You see, it's true. I saw Father Christmas. Wow! <laughs> Happy Christmas, Peppa! <laughs> Can't catch me! <laughs> <laughs> God catch me! <laughs> this is the best 
Christmas ever. <laughs> Grandad Dog's Garage This is Grandad Dog's Garage Here are Peppa and her family in their car Hello Danny Hello Peppa what? what can we do for you today? We've got petrol, air for tyres and a new automatic car wash Uh, two ice lollies please Oh, certainly Grandad Dog's Garage sells lots of things, even ice lollies. <laughs> Thank you. Goodbye. Goodbye. I love our car. <laughs> and our car loves us too, don't you? <laughs> oh dear, the car has stopped. It's no good. It won't start. I know. I'll ring Grandad Dog. Grandad Dog speaking. Help! Our car has broken down. Danny, we've got some rescuing to do. Yippee! To the rescue! To the rescue! Look, there's Danny and Grandad Dog. Hooray! Grandad Dog knows everything about cars. Hmm. Is it serious? No, you've just run out of petrol. What can we do? There's plenty of petrol at my garage. I'll tow you there. Grandad Dog is towing Pepper's car back to his garage. Grandad Dog is filling Pepper's car with petrol. Thank you, Grandad Dog. Here are Susie Sheep and her mummy in their car. <laughs> Hello, Peppa. Hello, Susie. We ran out of petrol. Grandad Dog rescued us. Wow, that's exciting. See you later. See you later. <laughs> Us? I think so. Grandad Dog speaking. I see. Don't panic, Mummy Sheep. I'm on my way. To the rescue! Can I go too? Hop aboard, Pepper. To the rescue! <laughs> to the rescue! Hello, Susie. We've come to rescue you. Hooray! Grandad Dog is filling the tyre with air. Thank you, Grandad Dog. Here are Granny Pig and Grandpa Pig in their car. Hello, everyone. Hello, Grandpa Pig. Would you like some petrol or air? No, thanks. I want to try out your new car wash. Certainly. It's run by a computer. Hello. I am the car wash of the future. Ooh. First, soapy water, then a rinse, and finally, a polish. Wow! Sorry, I have malfunctioned. Oh dear, the computer has broken, and Grandpa Pig's car is stuck. Ah! Do something, Grandad Dog! Oh! I don't know how to mend computers. My daddy mended our computer at home. Uh, well, I didn't really mend the computer. I just... Good! Then this is a job for Daddy Pig. Hmm. Maybe if I just switch it off... ...and then switch it on again. Daddy Pig has mended the car wash. Hooray! Grandad Dog is the best at mending cars, but my daddy mended the car wash. <laughs> Peppa Pig. Peppa Pig. Bedtime. It is almost bedtime. Pepper and George are just finishing their supper. 
<sighs> Daddy Pig. <laughs> oh, sorry. I'm a bit tired. It's been a long day. George and I aren't sleepy at all. Can we play in the garden? But it's almost your bedtime. Can we play outside for just a tiny bit? Please, Mummy. Please, Daddy. <laughs> all right. But you must come in when we call you for your bath. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know where they get their energy from. Peppa and George are playing one last game outside before bedtime. Look, George. Lots of muddy puddles. <laughs> Peppa and George are wearing their boots. They are going to jump up and down in muddy puddles. <laughs> Peppa loves jumping up and down in muddy puddles. George loves jumping up and down in muddy puddles. <laughs> Look! The biggest puddle in the world! What a huge big puddle! <laughs> Peppa! George! Bath time! <laughs> Daddy! Mummy! We found the biggest muddy puddle in the world! I can see that! Quick, into the bath. Oh, can't we just play outside a bit longer? <laughs> no, it's bath time. <laughs> <laughs> are you and George feeling sleepy? No, Daddy. We are not even a tiny bit sleepy. <laughs> Pepper and George might not be sleepy, but I am. Me too. <sighs> Before bedtime, Peppa and George have their bath. Peppa likes splashing. George likes splashing. Peppa and George both like splashing. That's enough splashing. Let's get you dry and into your pyjamas. Oh, can't we just stay in the bath a little bit longer? <laughs> bath time is over. Now it's time to clean your teeth. Before going to bed, Peppa and George brush their teeth. <laughs> OK, that's enough brushing. Into your beds. Oh, I think our teeth need a bit more cleaning. When you're in bed, Daddy Pig will read you a story. Hooray! <laughs> Peppa and George like stories. When Peppa goes to bed, she always has her teddy tucked up with her. When George goes to bed, he always has Mr. Dinosaur tucked up with him. Are you feeling sleepy now? No, Daddy. We need lots and lots of stories. Daddy Pig will read you one story. Now, which book do you want? Um, the Red Monkey Book. <laughs> OK, I'll read you the Red Monkey Book. Pepper and George like the Red Monkey Book. Once upon a time... <sighs> oh, sorry, Daddy Pig. <laughs> Once upon a time, there was a red monkey, and this red monkey had a bath and cleaned his teeth. He got into his bed, and soon he fell fast asleep. Good night, red monkey. Pepper and George are asleep. Good night, Pepper and George. Sleep well. <sighs> <sighs> Now Peppa and George are asleep, <sighs> Mummy Pig and Daddy Pig are going to watch some television. And now it's time for the amazing Mr. Potato. I've been looking forward to watching this program. The amazing Mr. Potato is always ready for action. He runs fast. He jumps high. He never sleeps. <sighs> it is bedtime for Peppa and George. And it looks as if it is bedtime for Mummy and Daddy, too. Peppa Pig Peppa Pig Peppa 